Could you discuss the two or three most common comorbidities? In addition to HIV infection, in persons receiving treatment for chronic HCV infection? And what are the most important drug-drug interactions between HCV DAAs and agents used to manage the most common comorbidities? One of the areas that we've clearly learned a lot about in the last two to three years with the advent of DAAs is the impact of drug-drug interactions. And I like to think of drug interactions in two ways. One is that the DAA could be a perpetrator, cause a drug interaction, and the other is that it could be a victim of a drug-drug interaction with a co-medication. So we have to analyze and think about what co-medications a patient is taking. And there, there will be more common um, co-medication because of more common comorbidities. I guess two or three of the areas that we have to think carefully about. One is depression and the use of antidepressants. Uh, a, a second would be the use of cardiovascular drugs. Um, and maybe a third, very much more specialist area would be transplantation. So going through those in order, antidepressants, one of the things that we need to recognize is that even though drugs may be in the same class and be an antidepressant, they are not all the same in terms of their interaction potential. So some antidepressants, because of the way the body handles them, are likely to be prone to drug-drug interactions particularly with the first generation of DAAs, telaprevir, bisaprevir, and maybe with semeprevir, um, and some of the other DAAs that are being handled by the same enzyme system that the body uses for the uh, antidepressants. So some antidepressants are more prone to drug-drug interactions than others, and one has to analyze those and say, is there a better antidepressant that I could potentially use? And that would have to be discussed with the whole medical team. The cardiovascular drugs, some drugs are more prone, so calcium channel antagonists are more prone to drug-drug interactions than, for example, the sartans or the um, drugs which are inhibiting angiotensin converting enzyme, for example. So um, I think one has to think about uh, different classes of drugs and whether they're more prone to drug interactions. The good news is that we've moved from the first generation of directly acting antivirals to the next generation and with sofosbuvir, sofosbuvir is a drug which has got very few drug-drug interactions. And so what we're hoping as we go through with the advent of new DAAs is that we've learned a lot of lessons, but some of the new drugs will have less drug-drug interactions than the first generation.